Hi. Hi. I'm the voice of reason. I posted up a video before and I'm going to keep posting up videos to put my opinion in where nobody probably wants to hear it. But I don't care. Um, truth hurts. Yes, it does. But today I'm here to talk about the dirty.com. Um, I've seen some of what's been put on the site and it is basically a slam site. You go on there, you put your pictures up of people and you talk shit about them. If, whether you know them or whether they just did you wrong and you wanted to get back, you know, whatever, that's your business. But the owner of the site tells women that they need to get boob jobs or nose jobs or facelift or liposuction. And the sad thing is, is these girls actually go out and do it. He's got such a Barbie doll complex about how the womanly figure should look. Or even how the male figure should look. Ladies, you're beautiful just the way you are. Don't let anybody tell you any different. You know, and beauty is really only skin deep. I'm a good person. And I'm not a supermodel. But people still love me because I'm me. You don't have to be a Victoria's Secrets model to be beautiful. Okay? I just wanted to let you know. The dirty.com is not a place to go and get beauty tips from. It's just a place where some sad reject gets his giggles on other people's pain and misery. And it is sad. It's horrid. It's just wrong. And some of the shit that has been said on that site may be true, but I bet you anything, most of it isn't. And to the dirty.com, you can kiss my ass. I'm pretty the way I am. And I'm happy the way I am. So, <laughs> go to hell. In other news, my cousin's lizard died. He was a bearded dragon, which are by far the most awesome lizards on the planet. You should totally get one. And um, we're going to miss you, Pokey, and hopefully you have a bunch of crickets where you ha where you are so you can just eat until your belly grows and explodes, and then you can do it again because you can't die again. Awesome. Um, no, but seriously, I'm going to miss him. And um, I miss my family up in Erie. I missed you. Hi, everybody, if you're watching this. Um... I love you very much, and maybe I'll be able to come up and visit soon. It would be fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, we went ghost hunting a couple nights ago. We didn't really capture anything. Well, it was still fun. Uh, we went to the Haunted Railroad tracks. Um, that was awesome. <laughs> the car still moves. <laughs> still works. Um, it's very sad how the kids died. Um, a lot of rumors about how that happened, and... I would really like to figure out how it actually happened and <laughs> maybe see if I could prevent it. It would be nice. I mean, all those poor children died and <sighs> misery, misery, misery. Okay. Um, we also went to Mission San Juan and Mission Espada. And uh, unfortunately, we did not go to Mission San Jose this time and that would have been awesome. Uh, unfortunately, thanks to all the vandals, again, thank you, we can't walk around the grounds at night anymore. Because you've just been tagging up everything. I mean, it's because of these uh, little shit gangsta wannabes who vandal up the place that we lost our drive-in movie theater. So again, thank you. Um, get a life. Um, I blame parents. You know, if parents actually gave a shit what their kids did, then <laughs> they wouldn't grow up to be horrible people. <laughs> or maybe if kids actually listened to their parents. Now, I'm not slamming all parents. Most parents do a really good job trying to raise their kids right, and sometimes the kids just don't listen. Uh, I would not. <laughs> I was a pain in the ass when I was a kid, but I didn't really do anything horribly wrong. So... You know, the normal sneaking out, coming home late, drinking. <laughs> God, I feel like an alcoholic now. 
<laughs> um, but most parents just these days notice they don't watch their kids. Watch your kids. They'll get hurt. And you'll be sitting there wondering why it happened and then you can sit there and wonder where were you because you should have been watching them. Um, I'm going to go because this is the end of the show and uh, I'll probably be uh, back on next weekend maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Whenever I get the free time. Okay, don't hold your breath because you'll probably die. Okay, well, bye-bye.